I, I've been looking forward to this so much, I can't tell you. It's the first place we came to for Most Haunted. When I actually got here, um, it was a glorious day earlier on today, really, really sunny. And the first thing I noticed about it was how calm, how beautiful the place is. This is the first time that I've been to Michelin Priory and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I didn't do the first series, I only came on board in the second series. But I saw Michelin Priory um, on the TV, so I'm really looking forward to it. In fact, it keeps reminding me of all the things that happened here, and I'm really, really excited. So much happened to us here on that night. I was absolutely petrified, and I just hope that more happens tonight. Carl and Yvette, one of the things they said was, as, as the day progresses and, you know, night starts to happen, the one thing that they realised was the atmosphere kind of changes, you know, you start to hear creaks and bangs and that sort of thing. I'm not scared. We've already had creaks and bangs in an interview that I did with the vet earlier on today. I am aware today, being here with the team, that there's a lot of expectation, there's a lot of excitement, and people are saying... Sorry. Where did that come from? I think that was from the panelling. No, but did someone bang it? Someone lean back. You see, or... no, you see, I just heard knocking in the corner. Did anybody lean back well, I then? I heard that, I heard that. I thought I it came from back here. It came from back here. It came from in the room somewhere. I'm telling you, this place is spooky. <laughs> I'm really it is. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about it more than I have been any other place. The noises, you know, and not only that, Where's that coming from, Stuart? Is that it came from the fireplace? <laughs> so it's starting already. If there are vigils going on anywhere else in the Priory, it's a good idea to have lock-off cameras on the piano, or at least MP3 recorders to pick up any auditory phenomena. Sorry, I'm still hearing bangings on the wall. <laughs> that wasn't coming from the ceiling, I'm sure. It was no, coming it from the wall. Yeah. Or was it back there again? Ask you if there's anybody here, is there any spirit people here that wish to talk to us? Calling out to any spirit people here that can hear my voice, any astral beings that want to talk to us, give us a sign, let us know that you're here. Oh, come on. That came from behind me. That turned like the panelling or something. That was as loud there's as pan anything. There's panelling on here at the back. Okay. It came from the back. I'm not scared, I'm just fascinated by a place that is reputedly haunted. The witness accounts seem uh, true. I mean, they seem, you know, fantastic on the one hand. The people giving them seem to be quite honest people. They don't necessarily want to share everything about their experiences. And not only that, you've got a place where there is so much happening, so much. I can't wait. I mean, last night we, we did, uh, Yvette and I attempted to stay in the house all night. We kind of lasted about, I think it was about six or seven minutes, but there were raps, there were dragging sounds, there was knocks, and it was really scary. Where are you? I can't even see you. Where's your face? Oh, there you are. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that, it's not funny! Ow! Ow. If you're here... Be nice, don't be disrespectful or anything, will you? Okay. If any of you are here, please show yourself to us. Turn the light off, come on. Play the harpsichord if you can. Hello? Hello? I swore something just moved then. I could swore something just moved. I just heard three knocks. Oh, I'm no, going. no, 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 you're not I am going. not going. I am not going. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I am so scared. No, no, please no, no, don't. Stop I need it, to stop go. It. I'm not. I... Please stop it. Come on. We've done a hundred investigations. We started here. That door there, I'm sure something just moved from behind Please that door. Come. 
It's a local zoo. Just chicken mushrooms. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I still think this is the most haunted place we've ever been to. Um, so tonight, I can't wait. I think I'm more excited probably than anyone else on about coming back here because this is really the home of most haunted. Um, and I hope it doesn't disappoint. I'm so excited. I'm really hyper. I just know this time, all those years ago, as soon as we walked in the building, I'm not saying what happened, but something happened that scared me to death, and I wonder if the same thing would happen. I just know it's just going to be fantastic, and I, David's had a quiet word with me and told me what he's already picked up, and it's, it, it just fits, it just really fits. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> it's piano we've out now. I've just been on my walk around. I have to say it's uh, an interesting place. It's very active. We've already had some stuff happen. All of a sudden we're upstairs and we hear a piano, which is one of the phenomena that happens downstairs. We've caught it on tape. It is all the, 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 we put it on audible tape, um, audio tape, and uh, we all ran down. No one else is in the building. We definitely heard it. We all heard it. That is so exciting. Brilliant. 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 It's and just, you know what the just as it know. goes quiet, just as all the voices. Yeah. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children. Um, <clears throat> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> the piano we've out now. Perfect, that's my favourite part of Most Haunted. It's what I'm here for, to get the sounds, and when you get one, I think that's it. Brilliant. Go and get it again. Down there, pretty, pretty rapid, and I'm pretty sure you'd have heard someone running out. I'm sure you would have done. That was... We were, that pretty, was we were down the stairs pretty, I don't pretty much. Is that no? You're not convinced, are you? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, for yeah, me, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. really... Yes. I really... Yeah. Well, I want to set up a lock-up camera and have my MP3 recorded over the whole night. Right, um, I don't know, I don't know really where to start in all honesty. Stuart was in the kitchen and he'd been on camera at that point probably for about half an hour, 20 minutes. And all of a sudden he just dropped the camera down onto the, uh, onto the, the worktop and sort of screams in pain. We, we lift up his, his shirt, he said there's something stabbing him in the back. And there are two deep, deep gashes in his back that have only just started to bleed. Now, that could have only just happened. That's not good. Please tell that's me that's not, not good. good. No, that's not good. Did it feel like a pin thing again? Yeah. It's like a scratch, isn't yeah. it? Oh, God. That's Did not good. Shirt just ran down my back then. <gasps> I'm not liking that. In terms of uh, my experiences with walk-arounds, extremely impressive, you know. The information and the phenomena and the general excitement of the whole walk around. Brilliant. Really good. I'm not really sure what went on there with Stuart. I don't like it when there's physical uh, attack because there is no other word for that. And people are going to say, well, why didn't you stop it protection wise, etc., etc. You know, I protect the whole crew when we start and I protect the building and I do what I can. However, individuals have free will. Now, if there's something in Stuart that says, I want proof and I demand real proof, he can override anything. He has that free will and he has that ability. And you must remember that. I've just come back from the vigil uh, with Ian and with Yvette. Shall I show you something? Mm -hmm. Shall I show you a secret panel? In the stairwell. Right, it'll be here. Is it here? Oh, I think David found it. That's it. That's the one. I've just come back from my first vigil with Yvette 
and uh, David Wells. Oh, it's very active, isn't that? It's very spiky. Mm. Do they know we're here? Yeah. They do? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, see, I feel real activity here. I get a lot of energy here in this Look at the spot. stones on the floor. Look. That could be brought in, though, from off My feet. Shoes, yeah. yeah. If you've got right trainers, course, you've got yeah. Oh, shh. Trainers. Shall I show you something? Shall I show you a secret panel in the stairwell? The stairwell? Yeah. All right, it could be here. Is it here? Let me just have a quickly, quickly torch. No, nope, further down. There's a panel, there's a door, there's a... If you push it open... Is it like a priest hole or something? Yeah, and you mm. can actually climb in it. Did it push that way? Uh, I'm not sure. It's here, it's somewhere. It's not on the other wall further up. It might be. Oh, <laughs> I think David found it. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment they don't seem to be playing, but I can tell you they are definitely watching. I think they're, with, with what happened to Stuart, I'm concerned. I have spoken to him. I've suggested to him that it reinforces his doorkeeper. I've done it as much as I can for him. He's kind of, you know, he basically wants things to happen, I think, on a subconscious level, even a conscious level. He wants phenomena to happen because that's what proof is to him. I have warned him though. We just returned back from a vigil in the gatehouse with uh, Dibbers. Oh, and Ian, the new medium. What a fantastic vigil. Uh, it was the first in the evening, and it sounded like we had a brass marching band above us, constantly walking around. Uh, but the only problem was that, is that the only thing above us uh, was the roof. There was like um, people being judged in here. It was like it was like it was like a court, I suppose, in one way. But it, it's. Is that bubbles? Look at the roof. Look at it. It's slanted. Anyone was walking on that? They'd just slide off. Hello. Did you hear that? Yes, let's go on. We can't, that's about, I think this is as far as we can go. Is it? The thing is, it's very What's behind you, Ian? What, is there a door? Is there a trap door or something? Hello? As an owl would not make that noise, surely. No, no, no. Only an owl with shoes on. Hey, what a fantastic uh, place. It's definitely one to go back to. I've just been on a vigil with Kieran, John Gilbert, Kath and Yvette over at the Mill House. It was, for me, quite quiet. I got shoved once by a character over there who I think probably died in an accident. Right, I've got one entity. Have you? Yeah, little man. Really? Mm-hmm. Little man. And he seems to be obviously looking after the meal. He just seems to be going about his business. Right. Doesn't seem to be that bothered to be honest. Okay. But maybe he doesn't know we're here yet. No. Mm. Mm. We don't think we can get upstairs, can we? Can we get up? Yeah, oh, we're going down there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's go there. Let's go yeah. up there. Yeah. I'm just going to pull in at the side here. How are you feeling, David? What, what are you. Uh, still, I just feel a bit apprehensive. Of I feel more watched up here than the rest than I am. I, I don't know, there's an energy of someone who died. A bit of a, you know, I guess there was accidents, it seems like a gruesome death. 
like caught in the machinery, do you know what I mean? And that person's still here? Yeah. And it's actually, like, more than died, they were shoved. Oh, f what? <laughs> you just don't do that, do you? Sorry. They were shoved. Right. Shoved into the machinery. Yeah. Should we move more forward into the yeah. Yeah. Oh. Come on, is there anybody here? We want to talk to you. Find out who you are. That bleeding cow. <laughs> You call that, David? See. If there's anyone here, if there's any spirits here, anyone who died here, come and talk to us. Let us know you're here. What's the matter? What was it? What was it? Just nudged me. What? Something just nudged me in the buttocks. Are you? Sorry, you told my mile you asked for it. If that was you, can you do it to someone else? Yeah, probably not me. A man. Me. Do it to a man. Do it to me. Did someone stay at me, please? Can you throw something? Just do something. Affect one of us. Affect me or Kieran. Affect the cow. Oh, it's going a bit. Oh, been a bit excited, cow. Okay. Mm. Should we make to move down the stairs because that's normally when things happen. That's true. Yeah, yeah. When, we, so when we go to leave. Oh, you, I do really feel disorientated up there. I feel. Is it head spin in this area more than that area? Yeah, I think this, this might, might be where it happened. Yeah, they could have fallen down, down here. here. Yeah, could have done here. Yeah, you might be right. Well, Stuart and I have uh, we've just come back from one of our vehicles. Um, we went off on our own. How do you feel? How do I feel? feel? How do you feel, Stu? To be honest. Um, I'm scared, considering what happened earlier on. Um, I don't want to be here, but, you know, I've got a job to do, so I'm going to try and do it to the best of my ability. I think one of the reasons we went off on our own was because um, uh, I wanted to go off on my own, uh, Stuart wanted to go off on his own, but we didn't have enough time. Um, and because Mitch and Priory is so special to, to me, um, and, the, and the rest of the crew really as well, that, that we... That, I needed, I wanted to, to, to be on my own with it. So Stuart and I went together, and I think we caught a, a chair moving. Ah! Whoa. Oh, no way, no way, no, no, no way. The chair's moved. No, it couldn't have moved. It's moved. No, it's not. It's not where it was. Well, that one's in the same position, isn't it? No, that's. That, it, it wasn't on the carpet. It's not. It's been lifted onto the carpet. Look at. Look at where that one is. I see it. It has as well. <gasps> Let's not panic. Let's stay calm. That is mad. I say if it move. If it move. If it moved now. I'll be out there like a shot. I'm staying Shit. calm, mate. I'm panicking, I'm just, but I'm staying calm. Now, strange enough, when we first came here, the same place, a chair moved, but we didn't have any cameras to, to catch it. Um, but now there's two of us there, and I, Stuart says he thinks he's caught it. Now, I've seen some of the footage, but I haven't seen it on the big screen. It looks good. It looks like we may have caught this chair moving on its own. We've got a full shot of the chairs just to eradicate any possibility of it being attached to anything or that we've moved it in some way. We're too far away from it. Fantastic. It's um, it's brilliant. Well, uh, that's it. I'm tired. I'm absolutely spent. Um, Mitch and Priory. 
yeah, I've always said it's the most haunted place we've ever been to. I maintain now that it is definitely the most haunted place we've ever, ever been to. Michelin Priory is fabulous. It's a fantastic place. Definitely, definitely haunted. And I definitely would love to come back. I want to come back. This place needs a full investigation. Not over a few months. It needs it over a few years. It really is. I think if anywhere in the world you can catch a ghost, a full manifestation, it's here at Michigan Priory. It's just sort of lived up to all expectations. So many things have happened. I mean, possibly the best thing of all is, is, is the harpsichord music. The harpsichord. Yeah, that's why I'm here. That's my job on Most Haunted, is to capture things like that. And you'll, you'll all have heard it endless times by now, I'm sure. And it's still incredible every time you listen to it. You're, there's no explanation. So much has happened tonight. We've been so scared. My, uh, my jump has been on and off all night because one minute I'm hot, next minute I'm freezing cold, then I'm hot, then I'm cold. Um, it's just a superb place. It really is. Everyone's friendly. It's got a great atmosphere. But as soon as it gets tonight, it changes. There's something here. There's lots of things here. Too many people have seen too many things, and that includes us. It's been fantastic here. And thanks for watching my Source Extra. Please join us next week because uh, who knows, we may have even caught more. Um, see you then. Thanks a lot. Holy oh, no, 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 you're not I am no, not no. going. I am not going. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I am so scared. No, no, please no, no, don't. Stop I need it, to stop go. It. I'm not. I'm... Please stop it. Come on. We've done 100 investigations. We started here. That door there, I'm sure something just moved from behind Please that door. I'm so excited. I'm really hyper. I just know this time, all those years ago, as soon as we walked in the building, I'm not saying what happened, but something happened that scared me to death. And I wonder if the same thing would happen. I just know it's just going to be fantastic. And I, David's had a quiet word with me and told me what he's already picked up, and it's. It, it just fits, it just really fits. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> piano we right now. <laughs> I've just been on my walk around. I have to say it's uh, an interesting place. It's very active. We've already had some stuff happen. All of a sudden we're upstairs and we hear a piano, which is one of the phenomena that happens downstairs. We've caught it on tape. It is all the the, the, the we put it on audible tape, um, audio tape, and uh, we all ran down. No one else is in the building, and we definitely heard it. We all heard it. That is so exciting. Brilliant. 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 This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <clears throat> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> Piano, we right now. No, 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 no. Perfect, that's my favourite part of Most Haunted. It's what I'm here for, to get the sounds, and when you get one, I think that's it. Brilliant, go and get it again. Down there, pretty, pretty rapid, and I'm pretty sure you'd have heard someone running... No, 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 you're not, I am no, not no. going. I am not going. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I am so scared. No, no, please no, don't. No, I need it, to go. It. I'm not. I... Please stop it. Come on. We've done 100 investigations. We started here. What? What? That door there. I'm sure something just moved from behind please that door. Come. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just check them out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I still think this is the most haunted place we've ever been to. Um, so tonight, I can't wait. I think I'm more excited probably than anyone else here about coming back here, because this is really the home of the most haunted. Um, and I hope it doesn't disappoint. I'm so excited. I'm really hyper. I just know, this time, all those years ago, as soon as we walked in the building, I'm not saying what happened, but something happened that scared me to death, and I wonder if the same thing would happen. I just know it's just going to be fantastic. And I, David's had a quiet word with me and told me what he's already picked up, and it's it it just fits, it just really fits. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> it's a piano we both know. I've just been on my walk round. I have to say it's uh, an interesting place. It's very active. We've already had some stuff happen. All of a sudden we're upstairs and we hear a piano, which is one of the phenomena that happens downstairs. We've caught it on tape. It is all the, 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 the we put it on audible tape, um, audio tape, and uh, we all ran down. No one else is in the building. and We definitely heard it. We all heard it. That is so exciting. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> Piano, we both know. <laughs> Perfect, that's my favourite part of Most Haunted. It's what I'm here for, to get the sounds, and when you get one, I think that's it. Brilliant. Go and get it again. Down there, pretty, pretty. Did it push that way? I'm not sure. It's here, it's somewhere. It's not on the other wall further up. It might be. Oh, I think David found it. Is this it? That's the one. At the moment, they don't seem to be playing, but I can tell you they are definitely watching. I think they're, with, with what happened to Stuart, I'm concerned. I have spoken to him. I've suggested to him that it reinforces his doorkeeper. I've done it as much as I can for him. He's kind of, you know, he basically wants things to happen, I think, on a subconscious level, even a conscious level. He wants phenomena to happen because that's what proof is to him. I have warned him, though. Just returned back from a vigil in the gatehouse with uh, Dibbers. Oh, and Ian, the new medium. What a fantastic vigil. Uh, it was the first in the evening, and it sounded like we had a brass marching band above us, constantly walking around. Uh, but the only problem was that is that the only thing above us uh, was the roof. There was like um, people being judged in here. It was like it was like it was like a court, I suppose, in one way. But it, it's. Yes, let's go on. We can't, that's about it. That's as far as we can go. Is it? The thing is, it's very... What's behind you, Ian? Is there a door? Is there a trap door or something? Hello? As an owl would not make that noise, surely. No, no, no. Only an owl with shoes on. What a fantastic uh, place. It's definitely one to go back to. We've just been on a vigil with Kieran, John Gilbert, Kath and Yvette over at the Mill House. It was, for me, quite quiet. I got shoved once by a character over there who I think probably died in an accident. Wow. 
Right, I've got one entity. Have you? Yeah, little man. Really? Mm -hmm. Little man, and he seems to be obviously looking after the meal. He just seems to be going about his business. Right. Doesn't seem to be that bothered to be honest. Okay. But maybe he doesn't know we're here yet. But it's not. <gasps> it's a piano we've got now. I've just been on my walk round. I have to say it's uh, an interesting place. It's very active. We've already had some stuff happen. All of a sudden we're upstairs and we hear a piano, which is one of the phenomena that happens downstairs. We've caught it on tape. It is all the the the, the we put it on audible tape um, audio tape, and uh, we all ran down. No one else is in the building, and we definitely heard it. We all heard it. That is so exciting. Brilliant. 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 Just as it goes quiet, just as all the voices. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children. Um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> Piano, we both know. No, 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 no. Perfect. That's my favourite part of Most Haunted. That's what I'm here for to get the sounds, and when you get one, I think that's it. Brilliant. Go and get it again. Down there, pretty, pretty rapid, and I'm pretty sure you'd have heard someone running out. I'm sure you would have done. That was. We were, that pretty, was we were down the stairs, pretty, I don't pretty much. Images, no, you're not convinced, are you? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, for yeah, me, yeah, I think yeah. it's yes. really. I really. Yeah. Well, I want to set up a lockup camera and have my MP3 recorded over the whole night. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't know really where to start. In all honesty, she was in the kitchen. And he'd been on camera at that point probably for about half an hour, 20 minutes. And all of a sudden he just drops the camera down onto the, uh, onto the, the worktop and sort of screams in pain. We, we lift up his, his shirt, he said there's something stabbing him in the back. And there are two deep, deep gashes in his back that have only just started to bleed. Now, that could have only just happened. That's not good. Please tell uh, me that's, that's not, not good. good. No, that's not good. Did it feel like a pin thing again? Yeah. It's like a scratch, isn't yeah. it? Oh, God. That's not good. Shirt just ran down my back then. <gasps> I'm not liking that. In terms of uh, my experiences with walk-arounds, extremely impressive, you know. The information and the phenomena and the general excitement of the whole walk-around. Brilliant. Really good. I'm not really sure what went on there with Stuart. I don't like it when there's physical uh, attack because there is no other word for that. And people are going to say, well, why didn't you stop it protection-wise, etc., etc. You know, I protect the whole crew when we start and I protect the building and I do what I can. However, individuals have free will. Now, if there's something in Stuart... I still think this is the most haunted place we've ever been to. Um, so tonight, I can't wait. I think I'm more excited probably than anyone else here about coming back here, because this is really the home of most haunted. Um, and I hope it doesn't disappoint. I'm so excited. I'm really hyper. I just know, this time, all those years ago, as soon as we walked in the building, I'm not saying what happened, that something happened that scared me to death, and I wonder if the same thing would happen. I just know it's just going to be fantastic. And I, David's had a quiet word with me and told me what he's already picked up, and it's it it just fits, it just really fits. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> it's piano, we both know. I've just been on my walk round. I have to say it's uh, an interesting place. It's very active. We've already had some stuff happen. All of a sudden we're upstairs and we hear a piano, which is one of the phenomena that happens downstairs. We've caught it on tape. It is all, uh, the, 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 we put it on audible tape, um, audio tape, and uh, we all ran down. No one else is in the building. and We definitely heard it. We all heard it. That is so exciting.
Brilliant. Really, 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 really. Brilliant. This feels like a really feminine space to me, like children, um, <coughs> maybe, but it's not. <gasps> Piano, we vote now. <laughs> Perfect, that's my favourite part of Most Haunted. That's what I'm here for, to get the sounds, and when you get one, I think that's it. Brilliant. Go and get it again. Down there, pretty, pretty rapid, and I'm pretty sure you'd have heard someone running out. I'm sure you would have done. That was. We were, that pretty, was we're down the stairs, pretty, I don't pretty much. Is that was good. No, you're not convinced, are you? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, for yeah, me, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. really. I really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to set up a lock up camera and have my MP3 recorded over the whole night. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't know really where to start. In all honesty, she was in the kitchen. And he'd been on camera at that point probably for about half an hour, 20 minutes. And all of a sudden he just drops the camera down onto the, uh, onto the, the worktop and sort of screams in pain. We, we lift up his, his shirt he said there's something stabbing him in the back. And there are two deep, deep gashes in his back that have only just started.